For more than a week, authorities in Norman have been trying to solve a series of suspicious fires. Now a pair of red boxer shorts may be their clue that they need to solve their investigation. Cleveland County reporter Gan Matthews has the latest. In the past week, there have been six car fires and one structure fire in the area around Norman North High School. Well, they all appear to be suspicious. Uh, the fire marshal's office is looking into all of those to see uh, what the common threat is and if there's any suspects. Most of those fires have occurred at the Lexington Crossing Mobile Home Park across the street from the high school. Sunday night, there was a fire at this vacant unit. And Monday morning, someone set Andrew Emerson's car ablaze. I heard a couple of popping sounds, and so I came, looked out the door to find out what was going on, and I saw my driver's side door was open, and uh, I saw a large amount of fire coming out of the driver's side. The fire gutted out the car's interior. It looks like they probably threw it on the passenger side. The passenger seat is burnt through. Just about the time Andrew Emerson's car was burning, another resident here says she saw a teenage boy wearing a black hoodie, jeans with red boxers, trying to break into her car. She yelled at him and he ran off. Later, even though he had changed clothes, she says she was able to identify him to the fire marshal by the red boxers. She says the fire marshal took the teen into custody. Paula Harmon's car got torched over the weekend. She suspects there's more than one person involved. I think it's some troubled kids that their parents don't watch and they don't know what they're out doing at the night because we have kids that run around this trailer park all night long. Harmon says the mobile home park needs a security guard. The complex may not hire one, but the owner of the property is offering a reward to catch those who are playing with fire. In Norman, Gan Matthews, News 9. And the Norman Fire Marshal confirms a 15-year-old boy has been arrested for arson in connection with the car fires in North Norman. Fire investigators are also looking into some fires on the east side to see if there's any connection.